Yeah, this is the question on bearing and distances. We are told that um, three ships PQ and R are at C, and the bearing of Q from P is 030 degrees, and the bearing of P from R is 300 de degrees. PQ is given at 5 km and PR as 8 km. And our first task is to draw this in a diagram. So if we go to P and we are to draw our cardinal points, the bearing of Q from P, from P, meaning that we take it from P, is 30 degrees. So if we take 30 degrees from the point P and we go 5 km, that will lead us to point Q. Okay. Now, um, we are also told that there is another point R. R is going to be down in respect to P. And the bearing of P from R is 300. So we have to measure 300 from the north. That will be 300. And then the distance between R and P is eight kilometers so five kilometers between p and q and eight kilometers between r and p this is the diagram that we are asked to actually illustrate we can complete the circle the, the triangle by joining line q and r and from here we can actually go ahead to find the other questions if we draw a cardinal point at Q, we are asked to find the bearing of R from Q and we are asked to find the distance between Q and R. Okay, so if we are to zoom in into this figure and try and label appropriately and complete our diagram, let's do that. Now we are zooming in. There is a number of things that we can notice. For example, um, at point P, we have 30 degrees, but if you are to consider this alternate angle between P and Q, we will notice that at point Q, this angle here will be 30 degrees because it's alternate to the other 30 degrees that we are given as the bearing of Q from P. Then we also go to point Q. We have 390 degrees, that is 270. 300 minus 270 is also 30 degrees, so we also have this angle to be 30. And we have to also consider the alternate angle at point P, that 30 degree will also be equal to this 30 degrees because they are also alternate angles. Now, at point P, 30 have been taken out of the right angle, so this other angle will be 60 degrees. And then we are seeing 60 and 90 in the triangle, 60 and 30, that will constitute a right angle which is 90 degrees. So we have completed our diagram and we can um, zoom back so that we can solve with this information that we have. With this information now, we can notice that we can find the distance between Q and R and the bearing of R from Q. Now, if we are to draw out this triangle, we are noticing a right angle, a right angle triangle with appropriate labeling 5, 8, then Q, P, and R. We are seeing that for a right angle triangle, um, to find Q, R, which is denoted as X, we can use Pythagoras theorem. And Pythagoras theorem will give us that the hypotenuse square is equal to the square of the adjacent plus the square of the opposite. Now x square will be 25 plus 64 which is equal to 89 and x will be the square root of 89 and here the square root of 89 9 9.43398 so x, which is the which is the distance between Q and R, is 9.43398 kilometers. But we are asked to find this correct to three significant figures. So we can say the distance between 
point Q or ship Q and ship R is approximately equal to in three significant figures now 9.43 kilometers 9.43 kilometers good so moving ahead we can say we want to look for the bearing of R from Q the bearing of R from Q will take us to estimate the angle that is denoted as question mark at point Q we will notice from our diagram on the right angle triangle that um, from this triangle PQR we can use the trigonometric function here we notice that tan theta will be opposite over the adjacent and the opposite is 8 while the adjacent is 5 so theta will be half tan 8 over 5 and half tan 8 over 5 will give us Let's bring in the calculator. Arc tan 8 divided by 5 is equal to 57.9946 degrees. Uh, I can I can approximate that to 60 degrees directly since I'm even going to find the bearing and bearings are not actually um, including the dot the decimal places so this can be approximated to 58 degrees now if you have to zoom in into our diagram that means at point q we have this to be 58 if you take the 30 out that will means the other angle here is 28 degrees now if you notice the straight line coming from the top down to the base at point q the angle on the straight line is 180 degrees and so the angle in the question mark, the bearing we are looking for, will be equal to 180 minus 28. That will be 180 degrees minus 28 degrees. So we can conclude from here that the bearing of R from Q will be 180 degrees minus 28 degrees. And that is equal to 152 degrees. And that is the bearing of ship R from ship Q. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.